There was once a capital musician who played delightfully on the fiddle, and he went rambling in a forest in a merry mood. Then he said to himself, Time goes rather heavily on. I must find a companion. So he took up his fiddle and fiddled away till the wood resounded with his music. Presently, up came a wolf. Dear me, there's a wolf coming to see me. But the wolf came up to him and said, How very prettily you play. I wish you would teach me. That's easily done, if you will only do what I bid you. Yes, I shall be a very apt scholar. So they went on a little way together and came at last to an old oak tree that was hollow within and had a large crack in the middle of a trunk. Look there! If you wish to learn to fiddle, put your forefeet into the crack. The wolf did as he was bid. But the musician picked up a large stone and wedged both his forefeet fast into the crack as to make him a prisoner. Now be good and wait there till I come back, said he and jogged on. After a while, he said again to himself, Time goes rather heavily. I must find another companion. So he took his fiddle and fiddled away again in the wood. Presently, up came a fox that was wandering close by. Aha! There is a fox! The fox came up and said, You delightful musician, how prettily you play. I must and will learn to play as you do. That may soon do, if you do as I tell you. That I will. So they travelled on together till they came to a narrow footpath with high bushes on each side. Then the musician bent a stout hazel stem down to the ground from one side of the path and set his foot on the top and held it fast and bent another from the other side and said to the fox, Now, pretty fox, if you want to fiddle, give me hold of your left paw. And the fox did as he was told. Then the musician tied that paw to the other hazel and took off his foot and away up flew the bushes and the fox too and hung sprawling and swinging in the air. Now be so kind as to stay there till I come back, said the musician and jogged on. But he soon said to himself, Time begins to hang heavy. I must find a companion. So he took up his fiddle and fiddled away divinely. Then up came a hare running along. Aha! There is a hare! And the hare said to him, how beautifully you play! Will you teach me? Yes, I will soon do that, if you follow my orders. Yes, I shall make a good scholar! Then they went on together very well for a long while, till they came to an open space in the wood. The musician tied a string around the hare's neck and fastened the other end to the tree. Now, pretty hare, quick jump about, run round the tree twenty times. So, the silly hare did as she was bid, and when she had run twenty times around the tree, she had twisted the string twenty times around the trunk and was fast prisoner. She might pull and pull away as long as she pleased and only pulled the string faster and faster around her neck. Now wait there 
until I come back. But the wolf had pulled and bitten and scratched at the stone a long while, till at last he'd gotten his feet out and was at liberty. He then said in great passion, I will run after that rascally musician and tear him in pieces. As the fox saw him run by, he said, Ah! Run a wolf! Pray let me down! The musician has played tricks with me. So the wolf set to work at the bottom of the hazel stem and bit it in two and went away both together to find the musician. And as they came to the hare, she cried out too for help. So they went and set her free and all followed the enemy together. Meantime, the musician had been fiddling away and found another companion, for a poor woodcutter had been pleased with the music and could not help following him with his axe under his arm. The musician was pleased to get a man for a companion and behaved very civil to him and played him no tricks, but stopped and played him his prettiest tunes till his heart overflowed for joy. While the woodcutter was standing listening, he saw the wolf, the fox and the hare coming and knew by their faces that they were in a great rage and coming to do some mischief. So he stood before the musician with his great axe, as much to say, no one shall hurt him as long as I have this axe. And when the beasts saw this, they were so frightened that they ran back into the woods. Then, the musician played the woodcutter one of his best tunes for his pains and went on with his journey. <laughs>